What's good, Bully World? This is Zeb, your host, Bully Talk with Zeb Pitts. June 18th, mark your calendars. USBR sanctioned event, Bully Roundup 2, put on by my dog, KOTB. Man, rookie of the year, bringing out everybody for this, man. Like I said, it's a USBR sanctioned event. June Williams is, a, is your MC on that day. Uh, Jerry Logo Man doing the fun show judging. You got Treasure. You got you got little Chris that's gonna be be out there, man. It's it's gonna be a star studded event, man. And I and I'm truly thankful and honored that uh, they chose me to be a part of that day. The belt. I need four sponsors. I know people gonna hit me up and snap, try to snatch them up fast, but I need four sponsors, hundred each. This belt. This belt gonna be real special, man. This joint gonna be real special because it's for my dog, the Rookie of the Year show. I'm gonna tell you now, it's gonna be all black everything on that belt. All black everything. <laughs> all black. <laughs> Straight up, all black belt. Yeah, that, that joint gonna be tight. That joint gonna be tight. Trust me. Trust me. And like I said, I, I can't wait to be a part of that event taking place uh down there right outside of dallas texas so definitely looking forward to that because right after that uh flying back when i fly back my daughter graduates that monday man i tell you boy stay busy i stay on the road that's my only official show that i got um shout out to everyone that been reaching out to me with the with the different shows that i was able to either say yes or no on Man, I just truly am thankful that that you considered me to be a part of your show, and I'm truly thankful to that. Want to give a huge uh, condolences uh, to Jeremy Frow and the loss of his boy Cash Money. Very unexpected loss, man. That's a big loss for the bully world. Uh, very beautiful bully. Um, well loved by the family, man. So I know he's gonna be missed uh, by Jeremy, man. Yeah, uh, condolences on the loss of that boy Cash Money. Your boy got a special project. I told you, man. Your boy stay busy, right? I got a special project. Flying down to Miami. It's a one-day thing, man. Flying in, flying out. Same day, man. That's all I'm going to say. I can't even tell you what it's about. All I can say is breaking, breaking news for the bully world. Probably the biggest sale of the American Bully. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Your boy a part of that. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, man. Work hard, grind hard, stay out of drama. And you'll get them calls, man. Come out for these exclusives, man. That's what I do. That's what I do. I really love this, man. Oh, I put up this post this morning, right? Because it's true. Don't lowball yourself, man. For real, man. This shit is irritating, man. I see this a lot in the funeral business. Like when it comes to the trading bombing. Again, that industry been a part of for 30 years in that industry, man. I see the same stuff, man. People, let's say trading bombers. Back in the day, you make a certain amount of money for a case. Today's, yesterday's price is not today's price. So I say that even in the dog world, man, I've been doing this for 20 years. In the beginning, wasn't making it. We, we, we did it for the love and the fun. Everybody was, man. Love and fun. A couple of beers here and there. And you know, do some videography, man. Then over time, get a little bit of money. Because everybody money starts stepping up. In the beginning, <laughs> I remember Mike's Devil Den. Famous thing. $2,000 in the brown paper bag. Now imagine that. We done went from them times from two thousand dollars in the brown paper bag to 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 Louis Vuitton and, and and Gucci bags with with hundreds of thousands of dollars in it for a pup, man. So I say that to say this to my videographers and photographers, man. Don't lowball yourself, man, because you fuck the game up when you do that, man. You mess the 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 algorithm of how you're supposed to get paid, man. Don't do that to yourself, man. For real, man. For, especially with people who don't put in a lot of hard work with this. Prime example, right? Most people that are part of a show, when that show ends, that's it for them. MCs, 
the judges. But when it comes to videographers and photographers, your day ain't over. You, you bust your ass all day. Then you got to go home, download all that stuff to your computer. Then you got to edit the stuff. You got to put stuff together. It's hours and hours of this, man. So don't do that shit for no damn crumbs, man. I don't understand that shit. That'd be like, like they going back to, to yesterday's prices with the selling the dogs. You don't see them doing that. So why they expect people like videographers and photographers to do that, man? Don't do that to yourself, man. That shit is annoying as fuck and it's irritating as hell, man. Know your goddamn worth, for real. But if you want to continue to pimp yourself out like that, then do that. I don't, I don't give a damn no more, man, about this, man. I ain't no savior for this, for this uh, American bully community. I just do me, man. I do me, stay out the drama, man. Cause I, I, you, I want to be a used to be a proponent for this, and that. I ain't doing that shit no more, for real, man. I say that for anybody else. I just worry about what I got going on and bettering my situation, man. And those who want to rock with me, rock with me, man. Like I said, man, this it's a, it's a real cutthroat industry that we have here when it comes to the American bully, man. I was able to survive all this BS, man, in the game. So, like I said, that was irritating to me, man. And, and, and the Joker quote, man, if you're good at something, don't do it for free. What are you doing? Don't do that, man. I, I Again, like I said, this is some of the stuff that is just, just, just irritating to me, man. Don't mess the game up like that, man, because you don't see that, like I said, with the breeders and stuff. Do you see them say, oh, well, let me go back to yesterday's price. Give you this badass pup for for, for, for $500 or $1,000 or $2,000. Hell no. They not doing it. So why are you doing that to yourself, man, when it comes to the videography and photography, man? Stop that shit, man. For real. God damn, man. That shit is annoying, man. Sometimes I'll be, I don't know. I'm going to just leave it alone. Again, your boy just going to keep doing him. My only official show for the year so far, June 18th, USBR Bully Roundup 2, put on by the rookie of the year, KOTB. I'm excited. You should be too. I need the four sponsors for this black on black belt that's going to be a part of the show, man, for real. I need them sponsors. I know they'll be gone by the day, so I can go on and get that that fire belt. I'm letting you already let you know it's black on black, cause this is gonna be special for my dog KOTB for his show, and I'm looking for uh, the bad. I'm, I'm gonna be real. I want the baddest bully or 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 dog period from the USBR to go home with that belt interview with me photo shoot everything i want to do the whole nine with you when you win this i'll be looking early get this out I'm gonna, I'm gonna be looking and searching and i'm gonna find them and and they're gonna represent the bully talk zed Pitts pitts brand with these badass bullies man that's a part of the the legendary status of the american uh bully talk, bully talk zed Pitts dog of the day award so you want me for your show, you got to hit me up early, see if I can check in, see if I can do it or not. And we go from there. All those who reached out to me for past shows, I truly appreciate it. And and, and, and hopefully, man, I, I, man I, I keep a whole catalog. Of, man, I got so much content, it don't make no sense. That's why I get paid for what I get paid for. Because I can just ease, like today, I'm going to drop some stuff, some old stuff. Just to just to let you know, man, my library and my my catalog is deep, man. With so many different interviews from people throughout the years, man. That's why you pay me for what I what you pay me for. Because you can always go back and listen to my different interviews over the years to see where we are with the American bully and exotic breed. Um and get the people's uh, opinion on where the breed is uh today or yesterday so this is what you get with bully talk zed pits and i know quick two three minute joint man I, I i take my time and talk to the people man that's what i do that's what you pay me for and like i said at most shows 
the judges, the MCs, all that, that job is done. When that show stops, the job is done. Videographers, photographers, your job begins. That's when you take the stuff down, take it home, break it down, download it, edit. It's hours and hours and hours, man. So don't play yourself like that, man. Don't play yourself like that, man. For real, I'm trying to help you out, man. I know I look young. I'm 50 years old. I'm a granddaddy, man. So I'm trying to help you out with this, man. Because it's annoying as fuck, man, to me. That's all I had to say about that, man. Again, I need the four sponsors. I know I have them before the end of the day out. Four sponsors for that Black on Black belt for the USBR Bully Roundup 2. Again, your boy got a secret. Secret uh, mission in the Bully World that let's just say Friday or, or whatever. Some exclusive news for the Bully World. Biggest sale level of American Bully. I'll just leave it at that. Bully told Zed, piss him out.